A powerful winter storm in Southern California has brought some post-Christmas travel to a standstill. It comes as more Americans than ever plan to drive or fly this holiday week. CBS 4's Hillary Lane reports. Snow in the mountains outside of Los Angeles shut down parts of Interstate 5 and 15, leaving hundreds of people stranded. i never seen it this bad. Not this bad. We tried going up, but we started sliding, so we just rolled all the way back, back to the gas station. Below the snow line, authorities are diverting traffic, offering alternative routes to some so people can get to their holiday destinations. It's not like there's any signage. It's just suddenly everybody's getting off of here and there's no instruction on what to do. Drivers in California are some of the 115.6 million people traveling this holiday season. That's 4.3 million more than last year. And while delays are due to weather in the West, sheer numbers are expected to double or even triple travel time on the East Coast, both Thursday and Friday afternoons. At a rest stop on the New Jersey Turnpike, we found drivers were prepared. We left as early as we could, sure, to beat the afternoon rush. So. It's been pretty good so far. Inside the nation's airports, travelers can expect long lines. An estimated 47 and a half million people in the U.S. are flying over the holidays, determined to escape. Nothing's going to stop us from getting to Jamaica. A new storm in the nation's midsection will travel to the East Coast by the weekend, possibly bringing more delays with it. Hillary Lane, CBS News, Secaucus, New Jersey.